Hey guys, it's Philly Sports Zero back with another video for you, uh, for you guys. Um, as of four twelve on this Saturday morning, on not Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon on March twenty first, twenty twenty. Um, another day in quarantine. Another day in my house, my room. Um. We got some good Eagles news to report, as I am wearing my Phillies hat. I don't know why. <laughs> we got the Eagles signing Will Parks to safety from the Denver Broncos. And they signed, what's that guy's name? I forget. Oh, my gosh. I'm not doing my prep. All right. One moment, please. Tavis Brown, uh, playing for the Chargers for four years, signed with the Eagles on a one-year deal. Um, I love both moves. They're both young guys. Um, Will Parks, one of the most versatile players on that Broncos defense. Um, he could literally move anywhere you want. He could play corner, he could play the nickel, he could play probably either safety position, um, Proven hitter, um, I saw uh, some highlights, he's a big hitter, um, Philly native, um, he's a good, he's a good guy for the community, um, tries to stop gun violence while he was in Bronx, uh, in Denver, he's actually stopping gun violence in Philadelphia, all the way across the country, so, imagine what he can do when he's actually in Philadelphia, so I love the move, um, more into Jatavis Brown. This guy was a beast in college. He was a fifth round pick um, out of, I don't know what college. Um, I looked it up earlier. But 11 and a half sacks in his last year at Akron, I believe it was. Um, great dude. Um, he was like one of the Chargers leading players on defense in his rookie year. He had like very a lot of tackles. He was up for rookie of the month at one point. So, it's great, great pickup by Howie Roseman. Um, Jatavis hasn't been really playing that much lately, so maybe put them in a new system with our other younger linebackers. Maybe he could thrive. Um, throw it in Jim Schwartz system. Maybe that can help him along a little bit. Try to get him back on track. Um, both deals are for one year. Uh, it's it's literally just low cost, high reward for these guys. Um, they're not breaking the bank. If they work out, then they work out. Then we resign them to a new contract. That's all. Um, I could see Will Park staying here longer because of our need for safety. Um, with Malcolm leaving, um, Darby leaving, even though he's on a safety, but still, it's, it's still in the secondary. It's still cover someone. Um, so yeah, this day for agency has been good. You know, keeping. Filling some holes, um, signing some young guys, which we really needed to do. I give props to Howie Roseman for that. We really needed to sign some young guys for this team. Um, I do want to get into another deal that I want the Eagles to make. Don't don't call me crazy. Do not call me crazy. Um, I'm a pretty educated man when it comes to Philly sports and only 16 years old. Um... I think the Eagles should go after Xavier Rhodes. I think they should. Three-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro. Let me look up this dude's age. I'm pretty sure he's young. He's 29 years old. He's as old as Darius Slay. All right. Let's look at his stats. Three-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro, right? This is his sixth year in the league. He just got cut by the Vikings. Um, a lot of people are saying he didn't have the best year last year, but he still went to the Pro Bowl. He started 15 games. He had one hundred. He had a 100-yard pick six last in 2016. Um, last year he had six pass deflections. He didn't have any picks. But that's all right. You know, one bad year. Still went to the Pro Bowl. He locks up. Um, he had 54 tackles. Five tackles for a loss at the cornerback position. Come on. 
Um, we could get him on a cheap deal. You know, I'll sign him to just a quick one-year prove-it deal or a two-year, like, $10 million deal. Um, so if the Eagles are looking for age, then I'll say scoop him up. He's 29 years old. He's not like Trumaine Johnson who's out there or Jimmy Smith. Let me look at Jimmy Smith. That's another guy that I want us to sign. Um, Jimmy Smith, he is 31, so probably not. Uh, we could get Clay Matthews as well. Clay Matthews, I know he's old. I know that. Yeah, he's 33. Even though the Eagles only have, what, three linebackers on the roster, Jatavis, Gary, and Edwards now. Um, maybe bring in Clay for that veteran presence. I think he had a decent year last year at the end of, like, eight sacks. He had eight sacks, 27 tackles, and two forced fumbles. Six-time Pro Bowl, one-time All-Pro, and a Super Bowl champion. So there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on right now in Philly sports. A lot of rumors. Maybe Yannick Nagakwe. There's there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of decent free agents are still out there. Um, obviously, Jadavian Clowney is still out there, but he wants twenty million dollars. He's not worth that much money. Let me dive into this. Jadavian Clowney is not worth that much money. I mean, come on. He had. Three sacks last year. <laughs> Three sacks. Holy crap. No. Holds out. Dirt, dirty hits. I would not sign him. I would sign him to a cheaper deal, though. You know what I'm saying? Not around 20 million. I would sign him to, like, two years, 30 million. With, like, 15 guaranteed. That's about it. Sign him to, like, a 10. Like, 15 million a year. I'll do that. Because he still can impact the game. Um, he did have a down year because he didn't really work out with any teams during training camp. Because he was holding out until he got traded to the Seahawks. But there are rumors, there are um, reports that they're working on a contract. So he might be off the books by the time this video is out. Um, but as you can see in the title, the Eagles made two moves. Or two young guys. Um, I like them both. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Um, check out Philly Sports here on Instagram. I posted up a new series up in there, so you guys should check it out. I'll drop that in the description below. Make sure you guys leave some comments. Let's see who you guys want to sign next. Um, follow Gridiron Daily Recaps on Instagram as well. I just report all the, uh, football news that go on down there. Um, some good stuff coming up. Make sure you guys... Stay at home during this crisis. We do not want it to expand into the Phillies season. I want to get, report you guys those those games every night. I really want to grind for you guys. So make sure you guys stay safe. Wash your hands. Um, stay quarantined in your homes. Um, you can see all these major athletes doing it. So you guys should be doing it too. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to Philly Sports Era. To going to be recapping all the sports news every day in this room right here. In my spinning chair on my desk. Uh, make sure you guys buy the merch. Go on phillysportsera.com. No, actually, just, just message me on my Instagram. I'll hook you guys with up with some t-shirts. We are sold out on sweatshirts, so make sure you guys get a t-shirt. I have a bunch over there in my closet. So make sure you guys hit me up on there with some... Uh, with some sales, ten dollars each. Um, I'll see you guys either today. If something happens, I'll make a video. If not, then I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, stay safe out there. Have a good day. See ya.